But whether or not it grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, that, that has nothing to do with what we're going to talk about right now, which is a very interesting article that Breitbart posted. <laughs> have you ever... I, I'm just going to ask right now. I, I have not read the whole article, but there was a, there's a posting of it that I saw uh, that made me know that I had to find the article, and thanks to Katini, I was able to find it. But But I saw this thing here. And if you want to pause and read it, go right ahead, but I'm going to read it in real time later. Uh, and, and when I saw this, I knew I needed to find the original article that it came from, because, oh boy, there is a lot going on here. So, well, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we get into the actual Breitbart article, as usual, let's go ahead and get into the fan art section so we have a little bit of brain bleach before we go to hurt ourselves. And speaking of brain bleach, uh, yeah, no, um, <coughs> this is made by Pumpkit and Pie. Uh, and the reason is that, okay, so we have Father, why have you corrupt me? So, for context, uh, when I did the last call for an uprising video, uh, I was logged into Sunset City's account, not my YouTube account, because we have shared ownership of Sunset City. Um, so I cannot be held responsible now for what shows up in the Sunset City recommended feed. That was a mistake, and I had already hit record by the time I realized the mistake had happened, and I wasn't about to log into my my account live. Um, so that was a thing that happened. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Pumpkin and Pie, for uh, immortalizing that moment forever. And this next one we have is from Simply Fantastic, uh, and they have posted a work in progress. Uh, I am interested to see how this one is going to turn out. And I'm also, not going to lie, super happy that more artists are incorporating the dangling hammer on the bangle into more of their designs. That wasn't originally part of the design for the avatar, uh, but over time, after I had that part of the design incorporated into a single loading screen asset, uh, I started getting it used in, in more and more pieces. So I'm, I'm super happy to see that incorporated into fan art now too. It is awesome. With all that said though, as always, thank you all for your fan art submissions and let's get right into the article itself. As soon as I can get, get this to work. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. So, anti-vaxxers begin, anti-vaxxers hype benign transmission numbers as proof vaccines don't work. Interesting. So this is going to be a pro-vaccine article against anti-vaxxers, but with a twist. And I mean, considering that Breitbart has a media bias fact check record of being very, very extremely to the right and having a very uh, mixed rate of factual reporting. We know we're in for a rough time. Let's go. Sometimes I wonder if the anti-Trump vaccine, ATV Twitter, accounts that flood my feed are authentic. Actually, I don't wonder this sometimes. I wonder about it every time my feed is flooded, or the comments here are flooded, with people who freak out after I suggest you go out and get a life-saving vaccine. Alright, so, um, I have a question. Why call it the Trump vaccine? Why would you call it a Trump vaccine? Like, just, just, just out of curiosity, what did Trump do to facilitate this vaccine? Did he, did he do the research? Did he participate in in any of the, the the funding for it? Like, did 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 he fund it out of his pocket? Did he go and and, and get an education that I know he doesn't have uh, for the purposes of of creating the vaccine? Did any of that happen? No. Okay. Cool. Because last I checked, uh, studies into mRNA vaccines are about a decade old, uh, and if not more, uh, and Trump had nothing to do with the creation of any mRNA vaccine. But, let's keep going here. My beliefs on this are straightforward. The Trump vaccine is a miracle and a lifesaver. It's not a miracle, it's, it's just science. It's, it's, it's what science does. It's how it works. Come on, dude. 
yes, vaccines save lives. I'm at least happy about that. But I'm, I'm going to stick on this calling it a Trump vaccine thing. Vaccine mandates are fascist. Uh, no, they're they're really not. They're really not. Okay, so I can understand not wanting vaccine mandates, especially with the American government uh, being the government that has a history of things like MKUltra, uh, a history of things like the Tuskegee experiments. Um, there's certainly a lot of red on America's ledger uh, in terms of things that we have done to the American populace on the whole. I get that. And so I know that there are reasons to not want these things to happen. But here's the thing. If a million and 15 incentives uh, do not convince somebody to get a vaccine and we need to reach herd immunity as a population to stimmy the flow of what this virus is doing, then what options do you have left? I'm not necessarily for vaccine mandates, but I also don't think mandates are fascistic. Fascism is a very tricky word. If you're going to use that word, then please use it correctly. You know, please use it in the way that somebody like Umberto Eco would have recognized it in his essay, Ur Fascism. If you are going to use that word, please use it to mean something like palingenetic ultranationalism. What you're saying here is authoritarianism. It's just authoritarianism. There are authoritarian governments and authoritarian mandates that are not necessarily fascistic. So just throwing that out there. Next... Foshi is a lying, narcissistic asshole. What did he lie about? Do do you do you want to do do you want to tell me like what he lied about? Uh, it's wonderful that you have your beliefs posted here, so we can make fun of you. But like, I would like to know the thing he lied about. That would be useful. Masks are stupid, other than medical offices. I have not complied with my town's ridiculous anti-science mask mandate. All right, cool. So now I know that you haven't actually read anything on science, uh, on, on the science behind masks. So let me go ahead and, and say it for the 15 millionth time on my channel, how masks work, why they work, and what they do. Okay? Okay. The virus exists as a particulate that is at about 1.5 microns in size. Cloth masks, surgical masks, and pretty much anything without a ventilator, uh, tends to have the ability to trap anything that is above 2.5 or 3 microns in size. Now, what that would lead you to believe, if you've just heard those two things, is that the masks don't do anything to stop the transfer of COVID, and they can't do anything to protect you from COVID. Okay, now let me actually give the rest of the context that shows that if you came to that conclusion, you're wrong. The virus does not exist in thin air. It cannot transfer in thin air. What the virus does is it transfers on water droplets. Water droplets are, by and large, 3.5-ish or more microns in size. Which means when you are breathing out, the actual particulate matter that the virus needs to cling to in order to transfer, in order to jump from you as a host to somebody else as a place to breed its glorious viral eggs... Well, not really breeding, but still, for them to for it to do that, it needs to be on that water droplet all the way. Now, what happens to that water droplet when you are wearing a mask? It gets stopped by the mask. Boom. Problem solved. This does not stop all of it. But about 70, if not more, percent of all particulates that you breathe out are caught by that mask, for better or worse. So, pointing that out, if you can give me an argument as to why masks don't work with all of that data given to you as I have just described it, and when you look up that data, you will find that I have not given you a falsity. I've given you the actual fucking measurements of the things at hand. You're going to have to give an argument to me as to why what I just said is wrong with the data I handed you. And I don't think you're going to accomplish that. So when you say the master anti-science, I'm going to laugh at you because I think you're an idiot. Uh, the next part is the media and Democrats are demonizing the unvaccinated in the exact same way Hitler demonized the Jews. Uh, no, they're not. We aren't saying that the unvaccinated are responsible for tanking the economy. We aren't saying that we need to Never throw them all into to jails. Chay Chay fan, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, we aren't doing any of that. Uh, oh, yeah, apparently there was an anti-vaxxer in chat. Well, looks like they just got yeeted. Oh, well, I hope you don't stumble on the staircase on your way out. Would really suck. Anyway, point being, 
No, nobody is saying that unvaccinated people are like Jews in fucking Germany. Nobody's saying that we need to kill the unvaccinated people. Now, there are people, and I will say this, there are people who are saying that uh, the unvaccinated people will likely be dying uh, because, well, vaccine is there to stop uh, a multitude of the symptoms that come from the virus. And, well, the symptoms and your body's reaction to those are what largely kill you. So... That part is being said, but that's merely a statement of facts. That's not the same thing as saying we need to go ahead and put Demo uh, Republicans in concentration camps. Nobody's arguing that fucking point. And for the one, like, edgy baby tanky who's in my, my audience somehow magically, you've been here for 900 episodes despite me severely disagreeing with everything you are... Yeah, that one random edgy tanky probably thinks that, yeah, no, they, they, they literally want the same thing happening to Republicans. But you can find any fringe belief and find one person on Earth who believes it. If I spout some random nonsense I've pulled out of my ass, some one person on Earth believes that thing. When I say no one is doing a thing, I'm talking about groups. I'm talking about larger areas on the whole. Now, let's continue to the next part. The last belief is the Trump vaccine is a miracle and a lifesaver. Okay, again, it's not a Trump vaccine, but whatever. Oh, and there's this one. And this is the one that made me specifically want to tackle this article. Okay. The organized left is deliberately putting unvaccinated Trump supporters in an impossible position where they can either not get a life-saving vaccine or can feel like cucks to the ugliest, smuggest bullies in the world. So if I tell a Trump supporter, please get the vaccine, according to this article, I am putting them in a catch-22, where... Somehow, despite the fact that this is the crowd of people largely, you know, heralded by Ben Shapiro that have the whole facts over feelings narrative, the fact that I might be hurting your conservative dad's feelings is now suddenly part of the argument. What kind of baby back bitch? I don't give a shit about your dad's feelings. I don't give a fuck. I don't know your dad. I don't want to know your dad. Fuck your dad. Well, except don't. The last time he made you. But point is, this is a really stupid argument. To say that when I tell you you should get a vaccine, I am suddenly putting you in a position where you are either saved or cucked. I'm going to be honest, as somebody who's gone to, you know, swingers party stuff, as, as someone who has been in polyamorous relationships, you can survive getting cucked, but people die when they are killed. Okay? I have seen people survive getting cucked. I have not seen people survive getting killed. I just haven't. Also, apparently there was an... Oh, yes. Uh, Nikki the Envy Fool, thank you very much for redeeming your points, friend. Oh, well. Oh, well. I didn't catch that earlier, and I should have. Meep. In other words, I sincerely believe the organized left, whatever that is, is doing everything in its power to convince Trump supporters not to get the life-saving Trump that well. When I say it like that, it really sounds really fucking stupid. So wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. So if I tell you to get a vaccine you read it as i'm telling you not to get the vaccine because you think everything i'm saying is reverse psychology let me assure you i am not engaging in reverse psychology when i say please get the vaccine <laughs> oh did i miss an rr at the beginning of the video did i do that hold on let me go fucking find that real quick why why are all of these on the same layer no go away i need to be able to see things and stuff yeah let's not organize we're hurting cats it's like hurting fucking cats none of us agree on anything harry xd thank you very much for redeeming your points for an Arara. you fucking monster jesus christ ah <sighs> 
I'm sorry, but people willing to drone strike seven children and who are eager to unleash terrorists like Antifa and Black Lives Matter into our cities are sociopaths. All right, so let's talk about fallacies. This is a fallacy of composition, okay? I'm anti-war, all right? I do not like the idea of drone striking children. I would prefer if we just didn't do the drone strikes. I'd prefer if we just didn't have war and, and just period. I'd, I'd prefer that not be a thing we have, if that were possible. That would be just swell, okay? Also, unleashing Black Lives Matter into our cities, the vast majority of Black Lives Matter protests were peaceful. Like... It is, what, 1% or 2% that were actually violent and caused by BLM groups. There's the thing. Like, of the 5 to 7% that we found that were violent uh, in all Black Lives Matter protests, the majority of the protests that turned violent turned violent because other forces, like police tear bombing people in Washington happened, that sparked them being violent. And, oh, let's go ahead and talk about escalation. If your police come up in riot gear, armed, you have already escalated things. Instead of just having your fucking down-home police coming in to say hi and say, hey, we're just here to make sure everything goes well, when you come in in full riot gear, armored with fucking tanks, yeah, no, at that, at that point, you have escalated. It's like aiming fucking guns at people. You've already escalated the conflict. You don't have to fire the, bu you don't have to fire the gun for people to feel threatened. Jesus fucking Christ. This is a stupid fucking article. Anyway. Oh, and to use sociopath as an insult, I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, despite the fact that sociopath as a concept has been largely dismissed by the DSM-5, uh, now it is all just various levels of ASPD, antisocial personality disorder. Using it as an insult here feels weird because sociopaths aren't necessarily bad people, right? Like, I, I know people who are on the ASPD spectrum, so they could be largely considered sociopathic and still aren't bad people. But, you know, you go ahead with throwing random-ass ableist insults. You do you. The left's morality is guided only by that which furthers their fascist agenda. Again, um, aside from tankies, please tell me where the palingenetic ultranationalists are within the left. Please do so. That would be great. I would I would love for you to identify that, that thing there. You're going to use the word. I'm going to stick you on the word. And so using reverse psychology to trick Trump supporters not to get a life-saving vaccine, to them, a moral good, or is to them a moral good. The more of us who die, the better. Okay, look, I'm not going to say that I want you to die, because I don't. I don't. I've said this a million times, and I'll say it again. I've, I've said it on stream, so I'll say it. If this is the first time I've said it in a video, then I guess this is the first time I'm saying it in a video. I view... Every time a bigot dies as a failure. I and other people around you who had the ability to change your mind and make you a better person who did not write stupid shit like this, we failed you. If you or or some other random ass person gets themselves killed because they are doing stupid shit informed by Breitbart or, or literally any other right wing news source, it is a personal failure for me and anyone else who had a chance to influence them that we were not able to change that person's mind for the better in a way that would not harm them. And if somebody dies of natural causes, but they die a bigot who their entire life they were a homophobe or a racist or, you know, whichever insert thing here in the umbrella term of ways you can be a terrible piece of shit are there. If that person dies a bigot, that, again, is a failure because they were not they, they were not able to do good in the world in the same magnified way they could have had they not been a racist, had they not been a homophobe, had they not been somebody who hates minority groups. OK, I do not want Trump supporters to die. I don't want conservatives to die. I don't want Republicans to die. I want you guys to get better. I want you guys to stop being little shits. I want you guys to recognize that trans people are just fucking human beings just like you, and they just want respect. I want you to recognize that women have bodily autonomy and should maintain that bodily autonomy. And it is authoritarian and nutty as shit to not give them their bodily autonomy. I want 
conservatives to get better on the whole. That's what I want. I don't want them dead. Dead people are failures. They could have been more. They could have been better. So, no, it's not a moral good for Trump supporters to die because of some reverse psychology shit, which, oh, by the way, mind you, is a propaganda device, okay? Here's the other problem here. And if you're, if you're familiar with Telltale Atheist channel, then you might understand this concept already. But there's an idea of, of reframing. If I'm your enemy, anything I do can be reframed to make me a terrible person. I'll give you an example that's happened to me before. So somebody types in my comment section that they, they hate me or want me to die or some shit, right? And then I say in the comment section, wow, real mature. Uh, and then they go, aha, look, I got to you. And I go, no, I, I didn't you didn't get to me i'm i am the one making fun of you now like i think you're being pathetic which is largely true but then because i'm your enemy and you are in my comment section to troll you read any interaction from me as validation that you've got under my skin because if i did if you didn't get under my skin then why did i comment from my end you haven't gotten under my skin I'm making fun of you. You're my target. But to you, it will never read that way. Because you view me as an enemy. You put me in this bucket where anything I do is going to be seen through that lens. So when I tell you to do something that's objectively good, it must be that I'm trying to trick you because you would not do what your enemy tells you to do, else you would be cucked. So now you have to do the opposite of what I said, which gets you hurt and or killed. It is one of the most childish viewpoints in the world that views things in such a black and white moral tone as to be just hilarious. This brings me to what I said at the beginning. The bizarre focus from the ATVs on China flu cases. Wait, 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 hold on. What? Cases? Wait, hold on. Is it? Hold on. Anti-Trump vaccine people on China flu cases. This is the wording that I see on people who are who are denying that the virus is a problem. So, so what is it? Is the vaccine a miracle and a lifesaver because the vaccine is saving us from a virus that is a problem, or or the or the or the cases not not real in some way? Why is that? Why is the quotation marks? What is that? What is what is this? What, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I don't I don't even know what that is. What does the number of coronavirus cases have to do with anything? Well, it proves the virus is still spreading even more than ha uh, after half the country is vaccinated. So? Israel's almost fully vaccinated and look at their cases. So? Who the fuck cares about any of that? Okay, cool. So, so this is the part where they move from just, like, hating everything that is left-wing and just now they're attacking the anti-vaxxers. Now they're, now they're attacking the anti-vaxxers. But they can't say anti-vaxxers. They have to say anti-Trump vacciners because they have to suck his toes or some shit. I, I hate to tell you, dude's like 70 years old. You're going to get toe flakes in your mouth. That You should not be trying to suck this man's toes. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you right now. I refuse to believe that that man has the hygiene for you to want to suck his dick as hard as you are in this fucking article. I, you're going to catch something. And... I know that you're going to think that me telling you that you might catch something in this desperate attempt to shove your nose right up Trump's ass and brown nose the hell for whatever gain you get from this. I understand you're going to think that that's reverse psychology. And so as a result, you should definitely stick your head directly up his colon. I know that that's the thing that you're going to think because that's literally the framing device you've shown me earlier in this conversation. But... I'm, I'm sorry, don't. You don't have to suck his mushroom to dunk on anti-vaxxers. You just don't. <laughs> oh, my God. And, yeah, now they're pointing out things that I actually do agree with here. You know, last week the CDC reported that 4,652 Americans died of the coronavirus. That's a single week since the vaccine came out months ago. Uh, according to the C CDC, 178 million people have been vaccinated, and only 3,040 people have died of the co coronavirus. 
and only 12,750 have been hospitalized for the virus. What more do you need to know than that? Yeah, no, that's... Oh, boy. The fucking framing here. Follow John Nolt on Twitter. Who the hell are you, anyway? Do I... Do I care? Why do you look like Mark Dice? Why do you look like Mark Dice? Let's build a MAGA Chaz. Why are you a Breitbart writer? Why... Why is this fine to post? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is this is some weird. I've I've not stepped into weird Larby territory like this before. This is very strange. This is very strange. This is a man who is and his fucking the fucking background here is Biden stumbling. That's okay. I hope every single person that that has shit like that so that they can be like, oh, it's just comedy, dude. I sincerely hope every single person that posts shit like that, every single time they stumble, especially if they're in a hospital, every single time they have any type of misfortune, I hope somebody else films it and puts it into a gag reel. Because it's the shit you were doing. And there's no medicine better than your own medicine. I don't know. I can help. This was weird. I don't know how to feel about this topic. I, I, it's like, yay, I'm glad you're not an anti-vaxxer, but Jesus Christ, what is the level of delusion required to write an article like this? I, I don't know. But I, I guess this is where I'll throw it back to you guys. I want your opinions on this shit. I don't know what's going on anymore with any of this shit. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, what even the purpose of this was, aside from a very weird way of dunking on anti-vaxxers. It was very strange. Oh, yo, 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 yo. If you want to support the channel and what I do, please consider hopping into the Patreon uh, or maybe even hopping over to the Discord. If you want to let me know how this video did, let me know in the comment section below or hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. With all that said, though, as I said before, and I have said over 900 times now, internet video tagline here. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you want access to behind the scenes content for the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I do weekly vlogs over there where I give uh, real life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.